Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to draw your attention to the right side of the reviewing area where Cadet Command Sergeant Major Alec Jenkins and Cadet Captain Toby Brill have requested an opportunity this evening prior to the start of our ceremony by performing a brief exhibition drill in honor of our parents joining us this evening. Report! Ladies and gentlemen, Cadet Captain Toby Brill and Command Sergeant Major Alec Jenkins.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Gunnery Sergeant Charles Glimke, your announcer for this evening's event. In the event of an emergency and we have to evacuate the area, please use the exits located at the ticket booth and exits behind the press box. Please walk, do not run, and help those who are in need of assistance. Instructions will be given to you as you exit the area. Keep all areas designated for emergency vehicles or medical teams clear. The Army and Navy Academy Corps of Cadets would like to welcome you to our end of the year change of command military review. Today's review is in honor of the class of 2022, the Academy's 111th graduating class. Reviews could be traced to the Middle Ages when rulers demonstrated their military strength by conducting ceremonies in the presence of their competitors. In the American Army, reviews were originally out in Baron Frederick von Steuben's Blue Book and were practiced by revolutionary units. As a matter of tradition, music has played a significant role throughout military history for signaling units in camp or on the battlefield. The colors at the center of the formation represent their presence at the forefront of the regiment during the heat of the battle. Cadets at Army and Navy Academy have honored the traditions of our school through the years by gathering on the parade field and marching together as a unit. Today, the Corps of Cadets is led by the Class of 2022. The adjutant now directs the band to sound attention. This starts a sequence of commands and movements to bring the battalion to the final line. Next, the adjutant commands sound adjutant's call to align the battalion to the final line. He then walks swiftly to a position in front of the Corps of Cadets where he will present the battalion to the commander of troops.
The battalion adjutant, Cadet Captain Spencer Shoja from Ladera Ranch, California, commands March on the Colors. Military tradition has it that the Colors Company receives the colors to begin reviews and ceremonies. The Company of the Year has the honor of being the Color Company. Last year's winner of the Best Company Trophy competition was Charlie Company. This year, Charlie Company is commanded by Cadet Captain James Hagen from Kenmore, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the colors. Thank you, please be seated. The adjutant now presents the Corps of Cadets to the Commander of Troops who assumes command of the battalion. The Commander of Troops is the Corps of Cadets Executive Officer, Cadet Major Drake Snyder from Renton, Washington. His staff include S-1 Adjutant, Cadet Captain Spencer Shoja from Ladera Ranch, California, S-2 Information Officer, Cadet Captain Evan Saw from Palos Verde, California, S3 Operations Officer, Cadet Major Henry Porter from Issaquah, Washington. S4 Logistics Officer, Cadet Captain Chris Clark from San Clemente, California. S5 Public Affairs Officer, Cadet Captain Ding Heng Sun from Shanghai, China. S6 Admissions Officer, Cadet Captain Keone Fatiaki from Oceanside, California. And Battalion Sergeant Major, Cadet Command Sergeant Major Alec Jenkins from Fountain Valley, California. The Commander of Troops, Cadet Major Drake Schneider, will formally present the Corps of Cadets to the reviewing stand, officially welcoming them to our ceremony. The Commandant of Cadets, Colonel Wayne Ward, United States Marine Corps retired, represents the local commander. The reviewing officials include Dr. Mark DeJardin, President of Army and Navy Academy, Colonel Wayne Ward, Commandant of Cadets, 
Mr. Barry Schreier, President of the Board of Trustees, and Ms. Amy Coe, Assistant Dean of Academics. We would also like to extend an Academy welcome to the families of our graduating seniors, esteemed members of our faculty and staff, and of course the many alumni, patrons, and parents, and friends of the Corps who are joining us today. After the Corps of Cadets is presented to the reviewing officials, the band is ordered to sound off. This gives the band the opportunity to entertain you with military marching music. Today, the band will be performing a medley of service songs. We invite those of you in the audience who have served or are currently serving to please stand when your service song is played so we can recognize you for your service. The United States Army. The United States Marine Corps. the United States Navy. The United States Air Force. the United States Coast Guard. the United States Space Force.
The Atkinson Warrior Band is led by Drum Major Cadet Sergeant Major Sean Liu from Houston, Texas, and Band Company Commander Cadet Captain Eric Urbano from Fallbrook, California. Dr. Mark DeJardin will now conduct the ritual inspection of the Corps Cadets. Joining him today are Mr. Barry Schreier, President of the Board of Trustees, Cadet Colonel Grant Seller, current Battalion Commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Dola Prodo, incoming Battalion Commander, Colonel Wayne Ward, Commandant, Miss Amy Coe, Dean of Academics, Lieutenant Colonel Kirby Scarborough, Senior Army Instructor, and CW04, or Manny Ortiz, Army Instructor. Army and Navy Academy was founded by Colonel Thomas A. Davis on 23 November 1910 in Pacific Beach, California, with an initial enrollment of 13 cadets. Due to the Great Depression and high cost of rent in the San Diego area, Colonel Davis was forced to relocate, and in 1936 he was offered property here in Carlsbad by the Anderson family, who were very much in favor of having a boys' military school in Carlsbad. Thus, the Academy was reopened on September 15, 1936, in the Red Apple Inn, an old hotel located on the Anderson property. The building still stands today and has been converted into the Academy dining facility. On December 20th, 1943, Colonel W.C. Atkinson, who served Army and Navy Academy for 56 years, from 1924 until his death in 1983, was named by the Board of Directors as the fifth president of the Academy. In 1948, the Red Apple Inn was dedicated and renamed Fagan Hall in honor of the first commanding general of Camp Pendleton, Major General Joseph Fagan. Over the years, numerous dormitories and buildings were erected to include the Samuel Warfield Peterson Library, named in honor of Major Pete, our fourth president, and the Virginia Powell Atkinson Memorial Chapel, which had long been a dream of Mrs. Atkinson to have a chapel on the beach. The admi administration building, Davis Hall, though completed in 1939, was actually dedicated in 1960 to Colonel Thomas A. Davis, founder of the Academy. On October 31, 1994, Coach John Mafucci Field was dedicated in honor of our longtime coach who built a superb athletic program over a career that spanned 59 years. Throughout the 90s, many major building projects took place, which gave us the modern dormitories, Crean Hall, named for the Crean family who are longtime supporters of the school, and Atkinson Hall, which was named after the Atkinson family. In 2005, Anderson Hall was completed, and in 2013, the Duffield Sports Center was completed. This sports center is a modern, versatile, multi-purpose sports complex, and is named in recognition of Academy patrons Cheryl and David Duffield. General Stephen M. Bliss Stadium, in which the ceremony is taking place today, is where we host numerous Warrior Home Sporting events and the Cadet Military Reviews, like the one you're viewing today. Army and Navy Academy is continuing to grow, and in August of 2020, we finished construction on our newest building, the Student Enrichment Center. This state-of-the-art building houses our JROTC department with numerous possible uses. The mission of the Army Navy Academy is to educate, mentor, and develop good character in young men. And more than 4,000 cadets have graduated from the Academy since that beginning in 1910. The cadets of the Corps are the institution itself, and our alumni continually serve our community as teachers, coaches, doctors, lawyers, businessmen, government servants, as well as in all military services and all ranks, from private to four-star general. The Army and Navy Academy has a rich history steeped in a continuing commitment to our values. Honor, integrity, responsibility, compassion, and gratitude. 
These values are the bedrock of good character and remind us all each day of our purpose as a military academy. And now, the colors and company commanders with their guidons will march forward for honors to the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. We will now award the Commandant's Trophy for Best Drill. It is awarded to the company that achieved the highest score for all drill type activities throughout the school year. To accept the award, we would like the company commander to come forward for Charlie Company. <laughs> Cadet Captain James Hagen is coming forward to receive the trophy.
we would now like to announce this year's winner of the George S. Patton Memorial Trophy for the 2021-2022 Company of the Year competition. A moment all cadets have been waiting for. The young men in the best company have demonstrated effective leadership, teamwork, esprit de corps, and loyalty to the Army and Navy Academy. The competition for this coveted title includes regulation drill, personal appearance, academic and citizenship performance, as well as other measures which challenge cadet leadership abilities. To accept the award, we would like the company commander to come forward for band company. Band is never short for an opportunity to perform, are they? The next stage of today's parade is the Arch of Swords ceremony for the class of 2026. We invite your attention to the right center of the parade field where the company commanders are forming an Arch of Swords for the bridging of the class of 2026. This ceremony officially welcomes these cadets into the high school program and their new company. These cadets will be greeted and officially welcomed into the high school program by the outgoing and incoming battalion commanders. Zachary Carpignano to Bravo Company. Pietro Casciaro to Alpha Company. Ellis Cole to Alpha Company. Andrew Dow Nguyen to Alpha Company. Nicholas Gepfarth to Alpha Company. James Kelleher to Charlie Company. Nikon Lajavardi to Bravo Company. Tyler Lenza to Bravo Company. Jace Lowe to Charlie Company. Lucas Levine to Charlie Company. Preston Miller to Charlie Company. Denver Perlman to Bravo Company.
Nico Pollock to Alpha Company. Samen Presman to Charlie Company. Landon Shroom to Bravo Company. Jai Liang Sun to Bravo Company. Vincent Z to Alpha Company. John Paul Trot to Bravo Company. Kai Vogt to Charlie Company. And last but certainly not least, Johnny Zhang to Band Company. The final ritual of this afternoon's review is the official battalion change of command and the pass and review to honor the class of 2022. At this time, the commander of troops will bring his units to attention. It is customary in military units for the outgoing commander to formally present the unit colors to the new commander when he assumes command. During this ceremony today, the retiring battalion commander, Cadet Colonel Grant Seller, will formally be relieved by the President, Dr. Mark DeJardin, who will then appoint Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Dola Proto as the new battalion commander. Attention to orders. By order of the President of Army and Navy Academy, whereas the class of 2022, having fulfilled their tenure of command and staff of the Warrior Battalion, the senior class is hereby relieved of duty. And whereas the cadet leaders of the class of 2023, having pledged to fulfill the obligations under the JROTC Leadership Creed and the Academy Leadership Oath, they are hereby ordered to assume command of the Warrior Battalion with all rights and privileges thereto. Signed, Mark DeJardin, President, Army and Navy Academy. Command Sergeant Major Alec Jenkins, the outgoing battalion Command Sergeant Major, begins the ceremony by taking the battalion colors and passing the Academy flag to the outgoing commander, Cadet Colonel Grant Seller. Cadet Colonel Grant Seller relinquishes his command by presenting the flag to Dr. Mark DeJardin. Dr. DeJardin then turns and presents the flag to the rising battalion commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Dola Proto, and appoints him commander of the Warrior Battalion. As Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Proto assumes command, he accepts the many challenges facing him and the class of 2023 
with the cheer, Warrior Proud. The rising battalion commander now returns the flag to the incoming battalion command sergeant major, Cadet Command Sergeant Major Sullivan Adams, who in turn returns it to the color guard for safekeeping until school year 2022-2023. At this time, the new battalion commander will officially assume command of the Corps of Cadets as the battalion executive officer gives the order for the current commanders and leaders to post their relief. Each outgoing leader at the platoon and company level is now relieved by the new leaders. The members of the class of 2022 will assemble in the middle of the field for their last pass in review. Today's review marks the final formation. They're not supposed to do that because it gets the announcer laughing. <laughs> this occasion is celebrated with the final pass and review and the gathering of the graduating class at the reviewing area to be honored by the Corps of Cadets. The senior class advisors are Miss Allison Statham, Staff Sergeant Paul Nixon, and Dr. Damiano Impostato. The class advisors will join them for their final pass and review. The battalion commander will now prepare the Corps of Cadets for the pass and review.
Today's reviewing official is Dr. Mark DeJardin. Joining him in the reviewing area are Colonel Wayne Ward, Miss Amy Coe. The pass and review is a long-standing military tradition that began as a way for newly assigned commander to inspect the troops. As a way for a newly assigned today, the cadets will pass and review in salute to the class of 2022. During the pass and review, as the colors pass your front, we ask that you please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, we kindly ask that you please remain at your seats during the pass and review. Please refrain from coming forward onto the parade field. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2022. Battalion Commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Dola Proto from Boulder, Colorado. His staff include Battalion Executive Officer, Cadet Major Finian McGonagall from Napa Valley. Cadet Captain Jacob Pascal from Cota de Casa, California. Cadet Michael Ramirez from Baldwin Park. Band Company is under the leadership of Company Commander, Cadet Captain Wesley Liu from Los Angeles, California and Group Major Alexander Shen from Los Altos, California. Headquarters is under the leadership of Company Commander Cadet Captain Kalen Brazil from Danville, California. Executive Officer Cadet First Lieutenant Quinn Vericker from Carlsbad, California. And Cadet Sergeant Major Jacob Honeycutt from Redondo Beach, California. Alpha Company is under the leadership of Company Commander Cadet Captain Tafik al farwahi from Dubai United Arab Emirates. Executive Officer Cadet First Lieutenant Pierce Fleming from Chula Vista, California, and Cadet First Sergeant Tate Meyer from Los Angeles, California. Bravo Company is under the leadership of Cadet Captain Garang Deng from Aurora, South Sudan. Executive Officer Cadet First Lieutenant Cameron Thompson from Austin, Texas, and Cadet First Sergeant Aria Sultani from Newport Beach, California. The Color Guard is under the leadership of Staff Sergeant Benjamin Reynolds from Oro Valley, California. Charlie Company is under the leadership of Company Commander Cadet Captain Andres Vasquez from Murrieta, California. Executive Officer Cadet First Lieutenant Cross Lewis from San Diego, California. And Cadet First Sergeant Brady Stewart from Phoenix, Arizona. Echo Company is under the leadership of Company Commander Cadet Captain Hoban Kim from Seoul, South Korea, and Cadet First Sergeant James Vigil, Orange County, California. Stoll's Guard Commander is Cadet Captain Richard Ramos from Las Vegas, Nevada.
At this time, the underclassmen are marching back to the campus to change clothes and complete the final checkout with their TAC officers. Passports are available at the operations office. The health center staff will be located near Green Hall drive through gate next to the counseling office for you to receive any medications. We ask that you ensure local traffic is able to access the area around campus by not double parking on the street. Parents have the option of driving on campus to ease the process of loading your cadet's gear. Please enter the campus through the north drive through gate. You will be directed by staff members to the specific, specific areas once you arrive at the drive through gate at the northeast corner of campus. I'm Gunnery Sergeant Charles Glimke, your announcer, and on behalf of everyone here at Army Navy Academy, we wish you a pleasant summer break. And in the immortal words of Ron Burgundy, stay classy, Army and Navy Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, you are more than welcome to go on the parade field to meet your seniors.